All right, folks, today we have the Edjo MK201-87R mechanical keyboard. And this keyboard is this one up here. And this keyboard is a mechanical keyboard with uh, red switches, okay? Um, I have another keyboard down here that I've pulled out because this keyboard, in my opinion, these are two very similar keyboards. Obviously, the price is totally different category. This is almost a third of the price of this keyboard here. This is the Rocat Vulcan. Um, but they have a very similar look and feel in my opinion. Um, the functionality is a little bit different because you can see here we have a volume knob and mute button, uh, but otherwise, size-wise, you know, the overall look and feel, very similar. Rocat, obviously a much higher end product, but both of these keyboards have red switches, okay? So what do I like about this keyboard? Um, so this keyboard, like the Rocat, has a similar downside and a similar problem. Um, and that problem is that if you look at the plane here where you'll be typing, it's flat, right? So what this means is that it's a little bit, you know, not that, not very ergonomic for general word processing purposes. This has the same problem. Uh, where you can see <clears throat> the key plane is flat. A keyboard like this AJAZZ, for example, um, you can see here, see this curvature? This makes it a lot easier to hit the keys that are further from the home row um, when you're typing. So a keyboard like this AJAZZ, this is my uh, daily use keyboard, it is a really great keyboard for you know word processing and coding. Um, whereas keyboards like this, you know, you'll find it hard to use for long periods of time for heavy duty typing. But for gaming, these are really good keyboards and we'll try it out, okay? Um, what I wanna do is I'm gonna type on both so you can kind of hear what it sounds like and get an idea if, uh, you know, these red, red switches are for you. So I have a typing test pulled up. First, I'm going to do it on the Edgeo, ready? Okay, so the red switches are really nice because they are rather quiet, so it's uh, not a super loud uh, mechanical switch, um, which is very good if you're using it in an office setting or you just have other people in the same room as you, um, or, you're, uh, or you are screaming or something like that where you're on video and you don't want that much background noise. Um, very silent, okay, just for comparison, We'll do a similar typing test on this Rocat Vulcan, okay? The Rocat Vulcan's definitely, in my opinion, a little bit louder, even though these are both red switches. Um, the ones on the Rocat, you know, they look nicer, in my opinion, um, but they're also a little bit louder. Um, let's talk about lighting options. So, on this Edgeo, you don't have that many lighting options, to be honest. So, you hit the FN key, and you can toggle the direction, the brightness, and the mode uh, using this insert key here, and you have a couple different modes. Uh, but similar to the Rocat, you know, these are not multicolor LEDs, so you can't really get, uh, you know, um, you don't really have a whole set of fancy patterns on it. I, I'm incorrect on this. The Rocat back here, you can see it, it does have multicolor LEDs, uh, but these LEDs are single color, so if it's a purple one, it's always a purple one. Um, but yeah, it's a nice budget keyboard. The construction is obviously at a third of the price of the Rocat. It's not going to be as nice. Uh, but I think the typing experience, you know, it's, it's pretty good. Even though these both have the same problem, like I said before, the flat plane, the round keycaps make it a little bit easier to type on. 
because you're not as likely to hit a adjacent key. Um, so there's definitely a benefit to these round keycaps. So overall, a great budget keyboard, mechanical keyboard for gaming purposes. Um, you know, if you buy this keyboard for your kids, they're gonna love it. Uh, not necessarily a great keyboard for day-to-day -day typing and word processing, uh, but still a great value.